Dear viewer, whether you are an ad lover, a sports lover, or just want to survive this week's conversations at the water cooler, we present to you the greatest moments of Super Bowl 43 advertisements. Which companies rose to victory? How do you think we're doing? And which tasted the sour defeat of the advertising blues? I need cash for this gold medallion of me wearing a gold medallion. This gold microphone. To watch the ads yourself, you can visit View Video for it. World Video for Food, where you can link to some online sites that are going to be playing all the ads. Please comment. That's right. Whether you agree or disagree, because I'm uh, posting this before the game actually starts. How do I do that, Nolts? Because I'm psychic. Number 10 belongs to Coca-Cola with this Avatar ad. Both visually appealing and sentimental. Ah, uh, contemporary but timeless. Number 9! Set quietly! Stick with your dipstick trailer! Stick with your dipstick! That is going to be the most quoted ad this week. <laughs> Didn't like the monkey ads. Very retro. Number eight, and Charlie's favorite, the E-Trade Babies. Oh, uh, what did I think about the economy in 2008? The outtakes are even funnier. <laughs> Position nine belongs to DreamWorks film, which is monsters versus aliens. As you can see, he has no brain. It turns out you don't need one. I am so dragging my kids to that. <laughs> Give it to me now! <laughs> Number six belongs to Career Builder, which reminds us that a bad job may have side effects. If you hate going to work, no one respects hey, you. You wish you were somewhere else. You cry constantly, and you daydream of punching small animals. Oh, dear. It may be time. I like those right. Yeah, and I cry at work a lot. Number five goes to Denny's for flipping off IHOP's Foo Foo Pancakes. Yeah, can I get some more giggle drops? Maybe a little bowl or something. What's it did a lot? I don't know, but I want one with my grand slam. The next one belongs to Coca-Cola with this animated insect video. I like that one too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and ladybugs sell. I think the most hotly debated commercial of the night will be this uh, Bob Dylan uh, Will I Am mashup. <laughs> I love that song. I know, me too. The second great <laughs> Super Bowl ad belongs to Pedigree. Not again. Bruno, come back here! Bruno, you fat, bad bird! How you guys doing back there? How do you think we're doing? Daddy, can we get a one of them? Now, for the number one Super Bowl ad of the night, it's Miller's Delivery Guy. Football shapes a lot. Scram. Back bacon. Right, close the door. Scram. Not fancy. That is an indisputable winner of the pre and post game buzz. Frugal bugle. You know, Wendell Middlebrook spent 17 hours recording those takes. And now for the losers. Sorry. But this Gatorade ad featuring athletes and animated lizards? No. <laughs> Hello, 1996 called. They want their gag back. And number two goes to GoDaddy for once again trying to use these hot women to sell stuff. I'll show you in hand. Let's watch that again. I'll show you in hand. No, come on. It's almost as bad as Pete has pulled that. And the number one worst Super Bowl ad belongs to Ed McMahon. The biggest sellout since me with this cash for gold abomination. Now's the time to send your unwanted gold for cash. I mean, seriously, you may laugh at that ad, but you won't laugh with it. Okay, so what do you think? Comment below and check out Will Video Food to see all the ads in their entirety. Are we right? Or are we going to differ from the polls and the pundits that will be talking about this game for long after we care? <laughs> How do you think we're doing?